Hey y'all! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Patrice. Please look at the other content and if you enjoy that content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button. In addition, if you would like to interact with me and other amazing crafters, head over to Facebook and join us on Facebook. Our group is also Craftable Things. For my returning subscribers, welcome back y'all. So today I will be showing you all how I made this acrylic word search plaque. Okay, so this is going to be for my grandmother and I put all of her kids' names on this plaque and it is so cute. I think she's going to absolutely love it. The You can do so many things with this. You don't even have to have this type of plaque. You can get a Dollar Tree picture frame or a picture frame from Walmart and do the same thing and it will already have a stand. All right, and then you can create a border. But for this particular project, all I'm using, I'm using my Cricut Maker to cut vinyl. So I have a cutter, um, I need vinyl, and you need this eight by 10 plaque or you can get any other size that you want there's so many different acrylic um, pieces on Amazon so you can get a square they also have circle pieces they have heart pieces different shapes so it's up to you but today we are going to be doing this on a square plaque or a square acrylic piece and actually this is a rectangle but nonetheless I am going to show you guys how to do it. I'm super excited. I love this. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start in our web browser and I am going to go to two sites that I use to create word search puzzles inside of my classroom. So the first site that I usually use is education.com and I do have a membership to the site. So I don't know if this particular component of education.com is free. They do have some free parts to their site. So I'm not sure if this one is free. I will show you one that is free, but I will be generating the one from education.com. So this is another one that I have used in the past, A to Z, teacherstuff.com, and they have a word search generator here. You can do so many different things with this. You can determine how many rows and columns you want. You can even change if you want to use a car shape, word search, a heart shape. They have various different shapes that you could use. And of course they have the square. And here you would just decide what font, if you want it lowercase or uppercase. Today we will be doing uppercase. You can also change the font size and decide how you want to, how you want those words within the word search. If you want it just forward or backwards, or if you want diagonals up or down, it's up to you. And you can also hide the word list. We will be uh, doing hours in word search maker via education.com. And I am just going to type, we don't even need a, a title. I am going to type a few names, my grandma's kids, because that's who this is going to be for. Next, we are just going to select how many rows and columns we want and decide whether or not you want uppercase and or diagonals, and we're going to pick all of that. Then you will generate your word search puzzle, and once it's up, it will have the answer key so that you can see how the words are laid out. You can change the layout if you don't like it. However, I like this, so I am going to click on to download worksheet, not download answer key. So then I'm going to open up our document and it's saved as a PDF. And as you guys can see, it's the word list is down here, but we don't want the word list. So I am just going to 
put that in the center and I'm going to make a screenshot and I'm making a screenshot via um, using my MacBook and so that you will do a shift command three in order to get your screenshot. Okay. So now I'm going to locate that screenshot. I can either go to my desktop and find it or I can find it within Finder but it is right here so I'm going to double click onto that and now while I'm in the preview I just want to go and just crop this out. So I'm going to select the area that I want and I am going to get as close to those letters as possible. And then I am going to click crop. And this is now what our screenshot is going to look like. So this is our word search puzzle. So now we're in Cricut Design Space and I need to upload that file. So I'm going to click upload and we're going to browse and I need to go to my screenshot and here it is. Okay, so we have it here and we are going to select complex because we need to remove that background. So don't forget, as you're removing the background, you also need to make sure that you remove the background inside of the letter. So make sure you get all of those O's because you want it to cut that out. All right, so we're going to click continue. And now it looks like we're ready. And we're going to save this as a cut file and upload. All right, y'all, so we have our word search set up in our Cricut Design Space Canvas, and all I need to do now is set up the template for the eight by 10 piece of acrylic that we will be applying this to. So to do that, I am just going to hide the word search and come over to Shapes, insert a square. I am going to change the dimensions of the square and you can do it two ways. You can either do it here in the toolbar or you can just simply unlock this lock key and you can change it. You can change it this way too, but the dimensions are going to stay the same because it's a square. So I need to unlock and I'm going to insert eight and a 10. And I am then going to make this white and then I am going to open that back up so that we can see our word search puzzle. And I'm going to resize it. I'm just going to go here and let's make that like an eight by 10. We'll start making it an eight by 10. And so that is. Oh, we need to unlock it, which I don't really want to unlock it. I want to keep the dimensions the same, okay? So I'm just going to go down here and grab our sizing arrow, and I am going to move this to the back. So that way we can see what we're working with. And so here we have our word search. And I think I want to uh, make it just a tad bit smaller. And this looks good. Okay, so next we are going to place a header on top. You can simply do this by putting a text. If you want to put a special message to your mom, a saying, or anything, you can simply go to text and type it up and put it together. and it'll be ready to cut. I am just going to go over here to images and see what Cricut Access has available for Mother's Day images. There are tons of images that you can use for Mother's Day and I'm just looking through to see which one catches my eye that I want to use. Okay, so I found the image that I want to use from Cricut Access, and I am going to insert that image into Canvas. And so, of course, we need to resize it. So I am going to just try to fit it into 
the space that we have here. Let's see how it's going to look centered if you need an idea. And it looks pretty good to me. So I think we're done. This is really, I mean, you can add uh, like a border to it if you like. Okay, so now it's time for us to upload some brush strokes into Canvas. If you want, you don't even really have to do brush strokes. You can make a circle and then you can resize it if you like something like that. And then you can at least, um, if you don't want to get brush strokes, you can kind of resize your circle just to go in the back of what it is that you're doing. Let me hide this. So you can then send that to the back. Let's make it another color first. Let's say we make that yellow and we send to back. And then you can maybe do it that way if you'd like. And your Cricut would just cut out those shapes and you'll just apply it to the words once we get ready to put it onto the acrylic board. All right. But I am going to delete that because I am going to upload some brush strokes. And this is uploaded as a cut file because it's already SVG and I'm going to unlock and then kind of do some reshaping. All right. So the first name that I see right here, I am going to do Cornell and then I am going to copy and paste. All right. So this is going to be the first one and then I'm going to send this to the back. And then that's kind of how it will look. All right. And then I'll put it over the next name. And I'm unlocking it so that I can kind of reshape that brush stroke as I need to. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to send that to the back. And we have our brush strokes and we have our word search complete. Okay, so you can add other things to your design if you want. You can add some flowers, you can add anything else, but it is time for us to get ready to make it. Now we're ready to cut and we will be using, well, for now it shows that we're going to be using four different mats. So I'm going to leave the black on one mat, but these other images i think i'm just going to combine them so i only have to load two mats and so to do that you just have to move those images to the mat that you're going to use and just make sure you notate exactly where the images start on that particular mat while the word search finishes cutting i am going to get ready and place the other vinyl onto the cutting mat and I don't know if you guys ever have any issues with getting the Oracle 651 out. I usually just keep turning it until it loosens up. It gets a little bit tighter on your finger, but it comes out fine. I don't have to cut the tube and all of that extra stuff that whew, sometimes happens with that Oracle. Okay. And so I'm going to get ready to place the vinyl down based off of what I have on the cutting mat on the computer in Cricut Design Space, okay? So the first one that we are going to be using is going to be this little turquoise piece. And this is just some permanent vinyl. It's just a 12 by 12 permanent piece of vinyl that I had. And I am going to, I only need a six by two in this one. All right guys, so that is all we needed to do for this part. It just makes it so much easier and quicker just to put it in this way so that you're not keep, you don't have to keep loading and unloading and reloading. So I'm going to get ready to cut this and this is going to actually be printed um, or cut with the mirror on. So you want to make sure that you mirror your image. Okay. 
And so you just match it up based off of what it says on the screen. So because this is at the three inch mark on the screen, I am going to place this at the three inch mark here. Same for this one. And then of course, this is at the six inch mark. So I am going to place this here at the six inch mark. And y'all, this is ready to be cut. This final is a little old, but it's okay. So make sure that you mirror your image and I will get ready to put this inside of our Cricut. All right guys, so while the other parts cut, we are just going to remove this from the mat. And you always want to make sure you are peeling the mat away from your vinyl because depending on the vinyl, you could actually ruin your, your cut. All right. So here is our design. I am going to cut it. And I do kind of want to make sure that it's kind of sort of in a straight line. We are now ready to peel our vinyl and you want to grab it at the corner and kind of peel it in a slant position and make sure you go very slowly because these letters are pretty thin and you don't want to snatch any of them up while you are peeling. Uh oh, I smoke what I did. There is a slight problem. Look. So, we're going to put this here, y'all. Mess it up, but guess what? It is not. I'm going to salvage. We're going to salvage that somehow. So here I'm going to use my weeding tool to help me keep those letters intact. I do not want to lose any of those letters and this helps me out a lot. Right. <laughs> so I lost the letter. As you guys saw, I lost this little, this little M and I just need to see how we can salvage this all right so i also also almost lost that t so i'm going to kind of fix it go back there and then this m i'm going to somehow get it back into place So there we have it. Now we just got to go and take all the insides out. All right, guys. So now I am done with weeding out the actual puzzle or the word search. And we are going to get ready to weed the parts that will go around it. All right. We're at the top. So, of course, we just want to make sure we flip this down. And especially with this one, because this one already has a little bit of lifting on the vinyl. So I don't want to pull on it. So I definitely want to make sure instead of pulling the vinyl, I pull the, the cutting mat. And so we're going to just take the rest of that vinyl off. I will weed this and then we will place it onto the acrylic piece that we have. All right, guys, so we have all of the pieces that we need. And so I am going to get ready to place this onto this side of the acrylic piece that we have. And I got this acrylic piece from Amazon, and the link will be in the description. But all you have to do is find where that plastic is. I don't want to scratch this up, but find that plastic coating and peel it off. And I'm just trying not to get any fingerprints on it. All 
Okay, now we have that off and we are just going to kind of measure this onto the board or onto the actual surface. And I just want to see exactly where I need to place my items. And this, I'm going to try to do this at the top. All right, so we are going to get ready to place this onto our acrylic piece if you want to you can take this and clean this off with a, a little bit of alcohol or an alcohol wipe i am pretty good with it i try not to touch it after i remove the plastic from on top so i am not going to do that today but you definitely can okay so the first piece that we are going to apply is the turquoise piece that says i love you and this is going to go at the very top and then once it's there we are going to kind of layer and i'm just going to take my leading tool and give it a little bit of scrape all right and so it's come comes off easily and then this will go at the very very top if you need a little bit of extra help you may want to put like another piece underneath so that you can actually see it all right and then i am going to take that and just press it in and this is layering it backwards, okay? Because the way the file is, you would usually place the pink down first. But for since we're doing it this way and we mirrored it, we are layering it backwards, all right? And so the next piece we're going to use is this pink piece. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Just apply the transfer tape. And you do want to make sure, as we did the other one, just make sure you kind of press it nicely or scrape it nicely. And then that should be fine. And we're going to now peel it off. And then we are going to layer it on top. Okay, so you just want to kind of find where the layers are or where the letters are. And then you will just place it directly on top of the I love you. As close as you can. Because this way is not that easy. You can, if you want your vinyl to be on the front part, you definitely can do that. But I want it to be on the back. All right, and then you are going to give it a nice scrape, and then you will peel off your transfer tape. All right, and then when you flip it over, this is what it looks like. So now I'm just transferring the vinyl onto the transfer paper and I pieced, I kind of folded the back of the vinyl paper so that it would be a little bit easier and I could kind of get it on more evenly onto the transfer paper. And I am using those grid lines to help me do that. Of course, I want to make sure I scrape the back and the front so that those letters can get off of that paper very easily and I don't have to really worry about it but I am struggling a little bit with the letters and so I am just going slowly and just reapplying pressure to the vinyl so that it can make sure and stick to the transfer tape all right so I'm just going to keep going slowly just to get it off and I'm peeling the paper away from the transfer tape now and it is a little bit easier I'm finding a little more success this way and I'm able to kind of manipulate each letter as I do it
So now that our vinyl is on to the transfer tape, I'm going to get ready to apply that to our acrylic. And I am just using those grid lines at the bottom to line it up perfectly to the bottom. And I'm just going to then press it on to the acrylic. And the transfer tape is about the same size as the, or same width as the acrylic piece. So that made it a little bit easier for me to kind of have it evenly onto the board. And I'm just scraping away, trying to make sure that that vinyl sticks to the acrylic board. So now I've already cut out the brush strokes and I'm just placing them over the names just so that I will know when I get ready to press them onto the board exactly where each brush stroke should be applied. Okay so now I'm just going to transfer the brush strokes onto my transfer tape and then I will press them onto the back of the words that way when it's flipped over the brush stroke isn't blocking the word and it just looks like it's kind of highlighting it from the back so that's what I'm going to get ready to do now all you have to do is get your scraper out and just I, what I did was I made sure when I placed the brush stro stroke over the name I just scraped it really nicely so that it can kind of um bent in or attached to the words so that it's not there's nothing lifted so you want to make sure you're scraping it on really really well all right guys so we are all done placing that vinyl on the back side and we are getting ready to flip it over and this is what it looks like flipped over and there is still a piece of protective plastic on top so we just need to get that off and of course you just want to be careful that you don't really scratch it and then you will be able to see all right look how awesome that looks it looks beautiful and i think my grandma will love it all right y'all so we are done with doing our project and I just have another piece behind so you guys can see it a little bit better but I love how this came out I am super super excited about giving this to my grandma I'm actually going to make one for my mom and my aunt and it's probably going to say different things on it this just has their names on it but I'm probably going to do one that has different sayings on it all right so it was super simple it did not take that long and i hope you all enjoy doing this project all right so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you are not already a subscriber that's it for today guys thank you all so much for watching until next time